Hey guys, my name's Daryl and welcome to this edition of Project TJ. Now, the other night whilst watching some inane reality show on TV, I was doing much more important things and I was looking for Jeep parts modifications on the net as you do. And I was on Rock Auto as I tend to end up a lot of the time um, and it occurred to me that I haven't replaced the coil pack rail on this. Uh, now, the 4 litre 6 has a single rail with six individual coil packs embedded into that rail. Kind of a bit old school, but it works fine and it's never given me any problems. I'm just considering that from 2006 when it's installed to today in 2021, it's probably getting a little bit old in the tooth. And if we're going to start doing some long trips in this, which we have already, but we'll do more, um, it's one of those parts that could fall by the wayside very quickly. So I looked at my options there in OEM and um, whilst I do try to get OEM parts you do realise that like Jeep or Chrysler or who, whoever owned Jeep at that point don't make those in-house they'll subcontract them to someone so in, if I'm getting parts out of the US I find that they're made in Mexico or something. If I'm getting parts locally I find they're made in China it's just where you are in the world but anyway um, but I was just looking at the OEM ones and thinking, well, I can replace it with a brand new one of those, which would be fine. Uh, it would be what I'd normally do. Or I can look at what other options there are out there. Um, I found one guy doing a coil pack replacement with a Dodge Viper coil pack. Probably not too bad, but not for me. Uh, Dodge Vipers were never sold in this country. And if I'm in the middle of nowhere and have to get one very quickly, I just can't because you'd have no chance at all. Um, you also end up with some spark plug wires and it's just another fail point for me. So all of a sudden, in doing a deep dive Google search as you tend to do, I came up with MSD have released a coil pack for the Jeeps using these long rails uh, with the coil packs embedded into them. Now MSD is a performance ignition supplier um, they're part of the Holly Group. Holly owns a whole heap of these things they've bought over the years. Um, you know, Holly are, are originally carburetor people, but they've bought Axel, who were doing uh, ignition wires and ignition stuff. They've bought MSD. There's a whole heap of other people they now own. So they're a very large company with very large resources. Now, MSD in the marketing blurb for this new rail suggests that they've used improved wiring uh, and materials, which you'd hope they would over the years as things improved. They also suggest that with other modifications, um, it recovers quicker than the OEM rail. I don't know. I'm not expecting anything. All I'm after is a high quality rail. This is also a plug and play thing. So it's remove the old rail, install the new rail, job done, which I quite like um, because it means that I can also go backwards if I need to. So if, if anything happens to this and it's not what it appears to be, I can just take it off and put the OEM rail on. So that's not a bad thing in itself. Now the drama that then happened was that I needed to buy it and needed to buy it then and found it a little bit hard to get a, some stock, except I found jegs.com had it. Jegs is a um, very large online performance parts supplier. Never bought anything off them before. It's always a bit of a, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here, but I need to have this part. Um, so purchased it, it shipped the next day, and it's taken about two weeks to get here in Australia. So very happy with that. Now, the one thing I will say with dealing with US performance companies is that you always find something interesting in the box. And with this, it was Jeg's newspaper, full of their monthly specials. Not a lot relating to Jeeps, but a good toilet route anyway. So, cost to me of this. It was $132.95 for the coil pack and shipped it was 225.41 and that is the joy of living in australia that's okay because if i went down to my local parts supplier and bought one of these i dare say it would cost me that or more so more more than happy with that and i've got exactly what i want so let's have a look at this new coil rail we'll just unbox this um you get some stickers i notice there's no instructions in it now this it does appear to be a nicely made piece of kit um, but apart from the red cover and the MSD logos, it appears to be a standard coil pack on the outside because it is a drop-in OEM replacement. One thing I will note though, is the nice touch of the green dialetic grease inside the, um, the boots. That's a nice touch by MSD. 
Anyway, enough talk, let's get this thing fitted. Now to do this today, we're gonna to need a screwdriver and a 13 mil socket. That's about it. I'll just undo this cross pipe and just move it aside so I can get to the rail easier. Just swung that aside. Now, with this, there's four 13 mil bolts to remove. There's one, two, three, and one at the back, which can be a little bit difficult to get out. So we'll just undo that. So I'll just crack all of those. And with that, we should be able to pull this rail off the plugs. They're a reasonably tight fit. Now the plug at the back has one of these red safety connections that you have to push out. You should be able to use your fingers to push that through. And then it's got a secondary latch you need to push down. Now, upon removing the old rail, I've noticed there's a massive crack in this mount here, um, and it's starting to show, show the metal through, so it's not a bad thing that I'm uh, replacing it at this point, I'd say. Definitely seen better days. Now, with that, it's time to slide the new rail in. Connect up the loom to it. Make sure the uh, connector clicks in and then do up the safety latch. Line up all the boots with the spark plugs. Put a little bit of copper slip on each of the mounting bolts. Just a tad, you don't need much. and just nip those up. You don't need many ugga duggers for this. Now we'll just do this air hose up and we're good to go, hopefully. So that fitted up really nice, and I'm really happy with that, seeing the crack on the old one. Um, 
it does show that it's on its way out and it was good to replace it, even though it was working fine. Because uh, when it would go, it would be in the worst possible situation. Sod's law, it always happens. Um, but yeah, really happy with that. And I'm really chuffed that I've been able to buy uh, a brand name performance product that adds a little bit of bling to the engine bay that will hopefully be as good as this one um, over the counter. It, it's so good to be able to do that. And it's one of the things I like with Jeeps. You can't do that with your Toyota. The American uh, performance industry is so big compared to anything that I've got locally. I'm sure I could rebuild this thing out of a catalog. But anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye now.